Hi, my name's Kanija. I'm in an accelerated bachelor's of nursing program. I'm six months into it, so today I wanted to share some resources that I use to get through my program. So the first resource I'm gonna talk about is Picmonic. It's an online learning system. It has short videos and mnemonics for you to understand and learn different topics of nursing. I find it really helpful because it really breaks down like some very complicated topics into ways that it's very easy to understand. The videos are really helpful and they just explain things really well. And the cute little cartoons like help me remember things so much. I'm the type of learner that I have to like come up with like mnemonics to remember things or like just like funny little like correlations of like to remember things. Like hypokalemia, for example. I always think like hypo sounds like a hippo but a hippo is big and it's the opposite, which I know that sounds like really complicated, but that's just kind of how my brain works. Um, so Picmonic helps a lot if you also learn and remember things similarly to me. Another thing too about Picmonic is that they have a lot of quizzes. So you can watch the video about a topic, learn it, and you can quiz yourself to see how well you've retained that information. Their website also has everything broken down into like topics so it's really easy to find what you're specifically looking for or if you're taking like a specific class like for example pharmacology they have a whole like playlist of pharmacology videos and just a really helpful resource that i personally love if you want to check out picmonic make sure to click the link in my description and use my code for some money off the other thing that I use is these flashcards. Um, they're from Nurse in the Making. I also have the pharmacology ones, which I'll put a picture here. Um, I don't have those with me right now. I left them back home over winter break and I just keep forgetting to grab them. But I really like these because again, similarly to like Picmonic, I just need ways to like remember things like in just like a, a way, I don't know. I like remember things in like weird ways or like acronyms help a lot and um so like these are all the lab values that are included in here just like little things like this are really helpful for me it just breaks it down into like information that's like super easy to know and kind of just like the main ideas of what you need to know they also like give a lot of helpful hints of like how to remember something and I found that really useful for the pharmacology flashcards um, oh, I wish I had those with me, but the pharmacology flashcards literally saved me when I was taking pharmacology. And then I still use these and the pharmacology flashcards. I need to bring them back because they're such a good, like quick little reference back. And it's so easy to navigate through of like what you're looking for. Um, you can just easily go and find the flashcard or like the farm, the medication for the pharmacology ones. So definitely think these are a good investment to keep using throughout the nursing program. I could not live without my whiteboard. I know it's really big and it's like not very necessary to have it that big, but that's just the one that I have. I think I got it from Costco like years ago. Um, but I love writing things down on a whiteboard, especially the things like from the flashcards or from a Picmonic. Um, just like having that repetition helps me really sink things in. So like what I'll do is I'll like take like four flashcards and then I'll try to write down as much information from the back as I can just from memory. So if I saw like PaCO2, like how much can I memory recall on the whiteboard? And it's good to like have it written out so you can like physically check yourself. Um, so yeah, I just... I personally love just writing things out on the whiteboard and it really helps me like sink it in and soak it in. Also sometimes I'll just have like important things written on the whiteboard. If I'm having a hard time like remembering something, I'll just keep it on the whiteboard and like keep it in my room so I'm constantly seeing it and it kind of helps me like remember it more. So if you are also a visual learner, I don't know if that's really visual learning but I think so. <laughs> but that's something that really helps me a lot especially for pharmacology another resource that i bought is this one it's like the nclex comprehensive review but it's for the hesse specifically um so in my program we take the hesse's after 
every single class. So we basically take the HESIs by topic. Um, so like we do a pharmacology HESI, uh, foundations HESI, patho HESI. So like for each class, there is a HESI that we take at the end and those can be really difficult, but this helps so much. So this book just basically like breaks everything down. It's almost like a condensed down textbook. Um, but I just think it does such a good job at like condensing all the information and then I'll also like have these like hessy hints right here where it like tells you like okay um a lot of times they're like this is how like the hessy will ask you or like this is spe more specifically what the hessy like usually will question you on related to this topic and then they have like review questions in this book so I have a lot of tabs this was from like pharmacology I think um I loved it for pharmacology because like these are anti-ulcer drugs and then it just has everything broken down into like really easy to understand things and i feel like with pharmacology too it's like things get so confusing so to have like the charts like that really helps and then again that's something that i would like write on the whiteboard like how much of that can i memory recall the other thing about this book is that it comes with um like a code for you to redeem online and you get practice exams for the HESI so they're written in like the HESI style exams and and those have been really helpful um I do think they do a pretty good job at preparing you for the HESIs the last thing I want to talk about is planners I think it's really important to have good planners I personally like big planners that have the month and then week spreads because it just helps me stay organized and especially with like working at the same time it's really important to stay on top of everything and then i also can find it hard to like stay on track during the days so i like to have like a daily planner one where it like breaks the day down by hours and this helps me just because this isn't something that i use like every day but if i'm noticing that i'm having a hard time like getting enough things down throughout the day i really like to use this little daily planner then you just tear it off and throw it away um so highly recommend getting some sort of both just to stay organized and on top of everything so those are kind of the biggest resources that i use and that i've bought outside of like the textbooks and stuff that my program gives us let me know if there's any other resources that you use that you personally really like because I'm always looking for new things to help me out. Nursing school can be hard, so having good resources that you can rely on is really important. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out the link in my description and use my code if you do want to get a subscription to Picmonic. It would mean so much to me if you would like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.